Well, it officially is a fixture upper. All the just bought it today. Carpet's out now. Taking trim or window covering thingies off. Getting some cleaning done. Gonna come up with a little plan here. Paint the walls. Paint the cabinets. Put some final sort of flooring in here. New couch, new table, new chairs. A little bit of water damage in the corners. I gotta do some resealing on the outside. Alright, I think we're on day, day is Wednesday, so day five. Um, open up the back side of this 2003 Jayco J Flight. Uh, some water damage in the corner trim. I gotta take the rest of the corner trim off. Uh, this side's already been drying almost a, 24 hours now. It's been open, but it finally stopped raining, took the tarp off. This side is a lot worse. I think I'm gonna have to actually uh, pull some of the paneling off in the inside. Luckily, that's in the bunk area, which is easily more easily accessed. The center portion to the left is the bathroom. The tub's in the left corner, and then you got the cabinet and such, and then the bunk is over at the bunks are on this, this side. So. This paneling is easily accessed, so I'll have to probably just cut it out wherever I need to. So do some digging and find out where exactly the uh, middle bunk is. Probably right in this area where it attaches. Probably some wood back here, I would assume, but we'll see. Um, actually, so. In the bottom bunk, it probably attaches somewhere in here, probably right on this rail here. Let's take that out and cut that off, and I'm still determining if I need to replace some of this wood or not. Some of that's pretty rotten. We'll have to do some more digging. Inside it, this has been out since this week Sunday. Tore that all out, and it's been drying. It's actually not too bad now. All the supplies to do redo the corner trim is going to be going to be here this weekend. So get it all dried out and redo the corner trim. Put some new insulation in, new paneling. Uh, everything else is gutted. At this point, painting starting. We got primer down on most walls. So here's the, that bunk. I got to get that torn out. I noticed it was bad there when I, from the inside. Maybe one up on the back side, and here's the back of the bathroom, which that paneling is not in too bad a shape. Check for mice. Traps are not set. So, work in progress, a couple more weeks, probably. Gonna paint all the, prime all the cabinets. Paint the cabinets, finish painting all the walls. We had all the windows out, uh, all the seals looked good, everything was dry in the windows. Uh, had a little bit of water in the corner here. On the slide out, and that's probably from the corner to the seal along the, on the outside, which I resealed all that already. Or caulked. So, yeah, here we go. Good progress.
day nine update. Had this camper for nine days now. Uh, had to tear the entire, well, all the siding off the back off. Um, it is now put back on. I rebuilt the bottom portion. There's a little kink here. I rebuilt the entire wall on the bottom portion below that kink. See the new wood in there. New paneling on the inside. I think the big side was this side was this side was completely soaked in here and the bottom portion was really rotted. I couldn't even get a screw to go in. So rebuilt the whole bottom portion. New paneling on the inside, on the bottom, new insulation. And now I got some screws just waiting on cleaning up the edges and uh, some seal tight tape to put on the corners and then we'll get those closed up. Got the cabinets out, washed them, I'm gonna paint them, put the bottom step back on. Front, still need to remove you can see like, this gap right here, hard to see, but there's definitely water getting in there. That's gotta be resealed, I'll pull that off. That's just the rain for a few days after today. Uh, so, we'll pull that off, get them dried out and sealed again. I'm thinking I'm gonna just, it's so easy to take the siding off, take off the bottom to the kink, let it dry for a day or two, then reseal it. Got a lot of painting in here. So this is still open here. I'm not gonna close it up until we get the exterior sealed up. But everything is painted. Well, all the walls are painted. And now it's starting to do all the woodworking, painting the woodworking white. Cabinets are next. Went and picked up some new flooring today. Stuff we got was not rated to less than 65 degrees, so gotta get some stuff that got allowed to go cooler. Painted the inside of this cabinet. Cleaned out the bottom. Bathroom hasn't been touched. The only thing I did is put a new lid on the vent up outside. All right. Back here, had all that paneling out on the back side of the bunks back there. And got that new, new paneling put in. You can see the new wood on the bottom. The new paneling on that back corner too, on that side. That is a brand new sheet of paneling. So it was open for a good four or five days drying out. Um, took out the water tank and we've been cleaning that out. Got it Get that put back in here. We put the bunks back in and put the water tank back in. And that's it. Dicor seal tight is installed. Pressure sensitive, it sticks instantly for the most part. Time for the corner trim. Get on both sides. We got new LED tail lights installed. Able to get the corner molding on. Some RV some butyl rubber sealant underneath. New stainless screws, number 10 by inch and a half. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna run a bead of ProFlex RV along the edge. Some new lap sealant up on top. And then new insert molding, or insert trim molding trim I guess you call it. 
put a cover on that light there. Ah, we're getting somewhere now. Misty's inside painting. Kids are in bed. Oh, and all the lights work on this rig. Wow. Which is good. See you tomorrow. Okay, it's Tuesday. Be day 11 of owning the camper. And yesterday, I got the corner trim installed. Oh, yeah, I think it installed the Sunday night, but it's Monday, got vinyl insert put in. We got all the corners caulked nicely. I uh, caulked all the lights on the back side. So the back side is done. It's ready to go. Now the front side, started tearing that apart. Or I took the corner trim off last night and then it exploded. Pulled the back, the whole bottom wall off. As you can see, oh, hard to see. Let's go from here on. This is rotten. I gotta replace some of this board here. Up in there. I'll go on the other side. Same with this side. I'm gonna replace some of that board and cut off about yay high. Scabbing a chunk because I can't get this panel in part. I glued these seams together and they are a pain in the ass. I'm not even going to attempt them. I'm going to break, break the paneling. So I think I can get away with scabbing in a chunk of wood here and then put another piece on the inside because I got to I gotta put a nailer in there for the paneling anyways. So so just scab a piece on here. Same thing on the bottom piece, chunk here. Cut this off about halfway. Put a new fresh corner on it and then put another one right above it and I'm currently in the process of rebuilding the wall actual framing is done now I gotta go cut, go cut the paneling quick I new outside pieces on the ends new top and bottom long ones and then the inside verticals are the same the same with this two by three I think you'd call that cabinets are getting painted there's a corner trim from the front oops insides getting pretty close to being painted. So there's the inside of the front. Get that wall back on today. <clears throat> so cabinets, I think you have two coats of white on them, or coat of primer and then two coats of white. Fridge is off to paint the doors. I put the bunk beds back together last night. Probably gonna recover this vinyl. But with time, bathroom hasn't been touched yet. Get everything else done first. All right, Tuesday evening update. We got the wall rebuilt. In. We replaced some pieces of wood in the corner. You can see that piece right there scabbed on. Some of the pieces in the corner. That angle 
going from the bottom up to the the kink in the, the front wall. That's the brand new piece of wood there. Uh, this side, all we replaced was the outer wall up on top. We've got a piece scabbed on all the way up there. That's just to connect the last foot which I replaced. And I replaced that last six, eight inches there. Scabbed another piece in between there. The benefit now is I have a nail for the paneling that's going to go on the inside. New paneling on the front. Accent wall on the front of the trailer with this heavy roof stuff. And insulate, put the siding back on. What do you think, that, Lou? Oh, you got an Oreo for me? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Top of the morning to you. It's day 13 of the RV renovation. Spoils of war from last night. And was able to get the front wall reconstructed. New wood in the wall last night. And then I put paneling on, the siding on, and then I forgot to run the wire. So I had to pull the two bottom sheets of siding off and run the wires from inside here down into the front where there's there's some wiring that connects. So task today after work is to clean up these corners. Little mineral spirits and plastic scrapers and get it sealed up with Dicor Flex Seal I think it's called or RV seal, tight seal, seal tight. So you see here, these wires that run down on the wall, and then they run over across, and then down, come out there, and connect to the rest of the wiring system. But put in a new chunk of wood here last night. This is new. This is a piece to connect the old one to the new one. There's a new chunk on the inside of this wall, about that tall, and then this piece connects all the way to the top just to connect it together and also provide nailing support for the paneling that's going to go on this wall. Same thing on this side. This is new, old connection. This is new. Replace the piece on the inside of that one, about, let's see, 8 to 12 inches long. Screwed a long piece on for nailer and support. And all these guys are all glued together. Wood glue. It's gonna be strong now. And then the whole bottom wall is brand new. I mean, the inside studs are like reused, but they're in fine shape. But everything on the, ex on the edges was, is brand new. The old wall was broken. There's three screws holding the bottom of this wall to the base of the RV and those are all broken. So put in what eight, nine screws all the way across. So hopefully that helps. What the bed was connected to that, so I'm sure over the years those screws broke. Cabinets are mostly painted. guy back in there last night. Cabinet. And it's coming together. What do you got going on here? Yeah, look at the hook. Here it comes. Ready? Come when you see it. Yeah. There it is. Doing some Dad, hinges. Dad, some... the fire! What about it? It'll go. Dad, can I show? All right, it's Friday, July. I think we've had it for two weeks now. The camper um, officially got the front end all sealed up. Uh, put the 
corner molding back on, insert trim this morning. Got more new lap sealant on top, and then this afternoon let it dry a little bit and put the ProFlex in the corners. So that is all done. I also was able to get There was a little bit of water, no water stains on the bottom of the floor here on the inside. So I took off this trim for molding and resealed it. And then once it dries, I'm going to put a bead of ProFlex along here and then I'm going to redo this whole trim piece here on the slide. side. Probably I'll look at redoing that on top, but I gotta figure out uh, see if that, that tape is okay shape or not. I don't think that's original. I think the previous owner put that on there, but I also have a new piece of plastic that goes in here. I also want to go through and just reseal everything, like the utility water connection. Put some new clock around all the lights. Get yeah, all of those up there. I only have two, two lights left. To new recock. And then got all the cabinet doors painted. All the hardware painted. So we're pretty close. Now I just gotta do some paneling installation on the inside. And we can finish painting. And then rebuild the beds put flooring down first and then rebuild the bed. So, put paneling on, insulation and paneling, and put flooring down. And we'll be good to go. Alrighty, day 16, Sunday, August 2nd. Uh, as I think I said before, we got the bunks done. Starting to put some cabinet doors back on, and the fridge, freezer door, cabinet doors on the bottom, on top. This is waiting for furniture. We're gonna paint the lights, hang on the walls for now until we can get the different fixtures. And we had pulled off that sheet there because the fire extinguisher wouldn't fit in the existing spot, so put on a new piece of B board paneling on that one. Getting the second coat of paint at this moment. And now we have this all finished off. Uh, I gotta put that window back in yet tonight, but the exterior is sealed and the interior is paneled and painted. Today is day 21 of owning the uh, RV. Last cabinets are getting painted. Doors are painted for the master bedroom overhead cabinets. We had to uh, take a few days and get the deck stained in the house. So, but. We also were able to work and get the uppers mostly painted. I think it might need one more coat. And then I've been working on getting the lower master bedroom area installed. Uh, I gotta put a little more, one more sheet of paneling across the front here. And then we can paint that. And then it's on the floor. I was doing some tough work with the floor the other night, just testing it out. Um, yeah, these cabinets are pretty much done. Mirror. Still gotta do the bathroom, but with time.
Alright, well, the last video I made was 20 days ago. We were on day, uh, last night was yesterday was day 40 of owning the 2003 Jayco J Flight 31 VHS. And a lot has happened. The last video we had was of. I think we had part of the master bedroom area finished up, or the wall is starting to be built um, underneath the master bed. Uh, and since then, we have finished the whole thing. So here we are. Um, walk in. As you can see we got flooring in. But as I said before, I think the last video I had, we were working on installing this wall underneath the master bed. Since then I've finished installing, we got it painted. And once that was finished, got that wall in, we installed the flooring. You probably saw it in some pictures that I posted. We got all the flooring installed, all the way into the bathroom. And also on the slide. One thing I do need to do yet is build some sort of a transition piece that's attached to the slide, jumps down and hits this piece and then lays on the floor so it hides this plastic. And then also goes around this corner as well on both ends, but we'll get, we'll get to that. Once we installed the flooring, I had also sort of working on building the bed. All it is is just a, a bed frame, just out of wood, some slats, pretty simple. And then we also built a couch, which pulls out and turns in the top mattress will flop down here and the, this piece here slides out and can sleep. It's six, six feet long, so it could sleep most people if need be, mostly kids probably. We reused the tabletop that was here. And originally we were going to use the original mounting system, but there was a aluminum metal strip that attached the wall and we must have thrown it out when, during the tear out process. Which I'm kind of glad we did because oh, I like I like this better. All I did is took a little piece of aluminum on the bottom side, screws the wall just to keep make stability, and then bought some inch and a half black pipe, a couple floor flanges, and use that as a to mount. Then we constructed these benches. All it is is a two by two, two by twelve dug fir. Top, and then it's a two by four for the support put some feet on the bottom and now those benches can be moved around if we need to stained and polyed that them as well just hit my head on the ceiling felt nice painted all the fixtures light fixtures hung those as well I don't remember if I, I think I had that, I had, we had that up. Finished painting all that stuff. Reinstalled these cabinets. Just gonna install this cabinet last night. We got new floor vents from E-Trailer. E-Trailer is actually pretty good on getting stuff for this RV. Uh, we actually installed all new LED light bulbs in these lights and then I'm also working on Replacing all the roof lights, so there's an old one. Here's a new one. Replace the new ones with the LEDs. LED roof lights or ceiling lights. Um, last night, last two nights, a big project was installing these drawers. Uh, the old system was a single, was a single mount or slide on each bottom. 
in the center on the bottom of each drawer. And I rebuilt or tore apart each box, made them 11 16 inch narrower, and then installed auto closing or soft closing uh, slides in the drawers. Uh, the middle one has got some hang up in it yet. It doesn't close. Oh, that one's going. I see it. Yeah, it gets to a spot. So there's just a little resistance in there yet that I gotta find. The top one is good too. So that'll be nice. And there's nice, I think there's gonna be enough of resistance that it won't pull open going down the highway. Bomb this last night because it's kind of stinky. In there. Um, and otherwise, the only thing we gotta do yet is I was hunting for groundhogs out here, eating our beans, plants in the garden. New floor flange or a new gasket on the bottom of the toilet. Found one at Ace Hardware that didn't really fit, but got the actual one ordered in Camping World that should fit, but I think this will work for now. But everything construction-wise is pretty much complete. It's got to replace a few more lights uh, and start putting all our camping stuff in here. So I'll try and demonstrate with one hand. So all it is is just some slats in the bottom. And I'm gonna try to demonstrate pulling this out with one hand. So I gotta kinda pry and pull at the same time. There we go, it's loose. So then this just pulls out. Like so, and then we put that other cushion down there. And it turns into a bed and when we're done. Push it in. Here we go. Now it's a couch. So what do you think? I think it looks great. I think it'll be pretty fun. Some things here and there we want to do, but majority it's useful usable now, so it's great. Until next time.